what is happening in the background, what is the potential outcome, and what is this subject about. Spirit, for the viewer, may we have a look please and see what is happening in the background, what would be helpful for the viewer to know in regards to what is happening in the background, please. We have got the Emperor. What is the potential outcome, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about the potential outcome? We have got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Is my entire deck? No, nope, my entire deck isn't in reverse. Okay, interesting. And what is this subject about? Spirit, may we have a look? What is this subject about, please? We have got the tower. The tower is talking about a massive shift and change that may be coming. On a personal level, I often see this as a moving card. We see the lightning bolt that can often indicate an awakening or some kind of realization. The tower card is often one that scares people and it is often dreaded when seen. However, it happens to be a card that I really enjoy. While change can be uncomfortable, I'm definitely of the belief that this is in your best interests. So in summary, this is about a change, a sudden change, a realization and an awakening. What is happening in the background, we have the emperor. This is someone who is coming in and taking control, or perhaps this is you who is now taking control. The Emperor is extremely disciplined and focused. And it's interesting because I've seen this card hundreds of times and yet for the first time I'm also recognizing that we have almost like this lightning bolt here too. I think that it is something that is being brought either to your awareness or to another's awareness. The Six of Pentacles as to what is the potential outcome. Rarely have I ever seen this come out in reverse. In the upright position, it is talking about this beautiful equal balance of giving and receiving, and that of community and support. With it coming in this reverse position, I am wondering if this has something to do with an awareness of any situation or circumstance that is completely unbalanced and potentially you or another saying no to this. The energy that I'm getting is someone is really growing in their power and truly understanding their value and their worth. And with that, there is going to be these massive shifts and changes. Let's have a look. What is happening in the background that would be helpful for us to know? One card, please, Spirit. My goodness. We have got the Knight of Pentacles, the potential outcome, the Emperor, two Emperors showing up here. And what is this subject about? We have got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very romantic card. However, it does have other aspects too. It talks about creativity. It talks about tapping in to your psychic gifts and abilities. It is also an action card. The knights are the action takers within tarot. So this shift and change that we are seeing, as I had mentioned earlier, I always felt it was for your betterment. And this may be leading you down a very creative path and also one where you or another are able to express themselves in a very beautiful diplomatic way as to what your needs or their needs and desires are. The cups within tarot, they speak of love and emotion and essentially the two of these are saying that you are moving in a direction and creating a life that you will love. What is happening in the background? 
we have this Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest moving cards of the entire deck and this may have taken you years to have got to this point. And this may have taken a lot of hard work and dedication on your part or for whomever you feel this reading is connected to. But we've all heard the term slow and steady wins the race and that's what's happening. In the background, all of the things that you have desired are now coming to fruition. The hard work has been worth it. It is extremely interesting that we have the two emperors, one in the past position and one in the future position. This really feels like quantum or timeline jumping, where the things that you have been trying to manifest are now showing up in your reality. This is absolutely claiming your destiny and taking control of the direction that it is heading. Let's pull one more card for each. Okay, so what is happening in the background? We have the Page of Pentacles. What is the potential outcome? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And what is this subject about? We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is talking about celebration. This is you finding your tribe. Those who celebrate and understand you. And it might just be a very small circle. These are others that you can collaborate with and share ideas. And I feel like this is a place of safety. What is happening in the background? We have this page of pentacles, which is showing that there is, again, some sort of manifestation that is coming into physical reality. This is talking about an opportunity, perhaps a financial opportunity, a beautiful golden opportunity. And perhaps you can even feel it. I know the last few weeks I have felt such excitement inside of me knowing that there was a shift or a change that was coming. And I am part of this collective and so therefore if I am feeling it, then I can almost guarantee that there are others who are also feeling like something special is about to manifest for us. And it is something that we have really worked hard for with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Once again, it's very interesting to see another card that has come in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles is one that I rarely see in reverse. These blessings and these pentacles that are coming for you. And for many of you, I believe it will come in the form of finances or abundance. This is potentially going to create others around you to be rather envious and there may be those who want to tap into your resources the things that you have earned for yourself of course it's always going to be up to you what you decide to do with your resources but do remember that this is something that you've worked for and that you have earned and with the six of pentacles in reverse it is saying that it does not mean that because you have this abundance that you have to share with others. Now that might sound very greedy, but I don't mean it in that way. And I very much do believe that you will share with your soul family or with those that are closest to you. But there are those who simply expect. And so with this emperor energy, use your discernment in regards to this and show discipline. And perhaps one of the greatest things that you can do for these people who want from you is to give them an outline of how you have achieved what you have achieved so that they have the opportunity to do this for themselves. This does feel like it's not meant for everybody, just for a very few select. And I've got to say, it feels like a financial type of win or monetary gift that comes to you and it is for you of course this reading is a collective reading and it is not meant to be for everyone if you would like your own personal reading then there is a link in my bio to same day readings or one-on-one -on -one zoom calls 
All of these gorgeous cards are listed here and you can find the connection in my bio.